Good day mates, just a little uh, update to let you know what's occurring uh, with the Stug and the Mini Art Panzer IV which I unboxed uh, a while back. So, my plan for the Stug 3 was to do um, Dunkel Gelb with the green squiggle camo. I don't know if it's got a technical name or a proper name or what, uh, but it's on the uh, box art of the Dragon Kit. So I did everything, you saw what I done with the uh, black basing and the pre-shading and all that malarkey. Uh, done the Dunkel Gelb over it, left it for a few days. It was a lacquer, MRP lacquer paint. I thought it looked fantastic. Came to do the uh, camo and had a bit of a disaster with it. I don't know if it's the airbrush pressure the mixing of the paint I don't know but it just all sort of went to pot I was practicing on this which is a backing plate for the electronics on a Fender guitar that I've got and I replaced it so I thought I'd keep this it wasn't coming out too bad I was practicing with different um, PSI's and different mixes that was me just messing about to start off with. And it didn't come out too bad there, some of it, or most of it. And I thought, oh yeah, I'll give it a go on the kit, but just came out rubbish. Uh, so I only did a little bit on the top of the uh, fighting compartment around the cupola and that, but it just looked horrible. So decided to scrap that. Um, I went over it again in black and obviously I'm going to have to do the pre-shading in white again and then the Dunkel Gelb so it's kind of uh, put me in a bit of a bad mood with that I like to do things right and I'm usually somebody who picks up techniques and you know stuff like that pretty easily you know, all through my life I've not really struggled learning new skills, but this airbrushing business, it's just like alchemy to me. So, what did I do? Well, I had the mini art Panzer IV sitting there staring me in the face, so I thought I'd start on that, which I did. And I'll show you what I've done so far. So this is the box for the Panzer IV. I've primed every sprue. There's 41 sprues of plastic in there. Primed them with Vallejo Grey Primer. Uh, there's two sheets of PE, one decal sheet and one sprue of clear parts. So as you can see, I've labeled all the sprues in nice bright yellow tammy tape which makes it so much easier to see so much easier to get at some of them were marked up but with tiny little markings on them for what sprue it was and it would have just been a ball ache trying to find them so 
a majority of them weren't even marked so I had to check the sprue map and match them all up and then label them and that's it makes it so much easier to get to so much easier to find which sprue you're looking for and what I've done so far I've started on the interior uh, all those shells have been undercoated in black and then uh, top coated with MIG brass they've all got tiny little decals on the top I assume that was so the crew could have uh, made out what shells they were it's coming along nicely I painted the uh, bottom there in this stuff MRP red brown it's a lacquer base paint pre thinned no need to mess about thinning it straight in the airbrush but it is very smelly so you need to wear a mask respirator and the other interior stuff is going to be painted in this mission models Elfenbein World War II German interior white which are, it's kind of like an ivory or an off-white but that's a nice little paint to use in the airbrush I've also started on the engine or one of the engines there's about 20 parts in that little bit there I've done those that's all ready to go and what I'm up to on the book of destructions the next step will be that one get that out of the way I'll be putting those side pieces on uh, those pipes that bit that I've already made put that bit on top obviously I'll be painting the engine before I do all that malarkey uh, those gauges need to have decals on them and the uh, surround needs to be painted in the off-white but other than that it's coming along a treat I'm enjoying it so far uh, the stug is going to be put on the back burner for a while because uh, that really annoyed me mucking up that camo Pretty much finished the figures now for my 40mm Bofors anti-aircraft gun. Those three are done. I've just got to put the uh, shells in his hand there. That one, one of his hands fell off so I was waiting for the glue to set. Uh, there's three other figures that are already on the uh, gun. Two that sit down. They don't actually fire the gun, all they do is control the left and right and the up and down. And there's a guy who stands on, on the back of the gun behind them and he actually shoots the gun with a foot pedal and he loads the uh, shells in as well. So that's come along nicely. I'll be cracking on some more with that again today. So in the meantime... Everybody stay safe, and I'll catch you soon. Bye.